Okay, now that we have talked about how to write out the multiples and find um, the least common multiple, but there's another way of going about doing it. And this works really nicely um, if you have very, very large numbers that it's a little difficult to write out all the multiples of, or if you have more than two things. If you've got three things or four things that you're finding the least common multiple of, sometimes this is a nice method to use also. Now this method uses the prime factorization. So we've already talked about and learned how to do the prime factorization. Now the very first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to write out the prime factorization of each number. So we're finding the LCM for 20, 24, and 30. So I'm going to write out the prime factorization for each one of those numbers. Okay, for 20, let's see, 2 times 10 is 20, and 10 would be 2 times 5, so now that is all prime numbers. 24 I could write as 2 times 12, and 12 would be 2 times 6, and 6 would be 2 times 3. Now those are all prime numbers. And 30 would be 3 times 10, 10 would be 2 times 5. Now we have all prime numbers again. Now remember, um, just to refresh your memory, when we did these prime factorizations, if you had chose uh, two different numbers for 30, that's okay. If you had said 6 times 5 is 30, that's all right. You will get down to the exact same prime factorization, no matter what two numbers you choose to begin with. Okay, now after we have found the prime factorization, our next step says to write the prime factorization neatly. So what I mean by that is, I mean let's write out 20 as being 2 times 2 times 5. And 24 we found to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And 30 we found to be 2 times 3 times 5. Alright, now to find the LCM we write down each prime number the most times it appears in any factorization. So for the LCM do you notice that in our prime factorizations up here we have only twos, threes, and fives, no other numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down, twos, oops, threes, and fives. Now let's look at our twos first. Here we have two of them, here we have three of them, and here we have one of them. Well, three is more. So the most times it appears in any factorization would be right here. It appears three times. So we're going to use that, 2 cubed. Now next we move to our threes. In our first prime factorization we have no threes. Here we have one. And here we have one. So the most times it appears in any factorization is only one time. So that would be 3 to the first. Then we move to our fives. Here we have one five, no fives, and one five. So the most times it appears is only once in any single factorization. Now in order to find the LCM, we just multiply those together. So two to the third power means two times two times two, which would be eight times 3 to the first would be 3, and 5 to the first would be 5. So here we have 8 times 3, which is 24, times 5, which is 120. So our least common multiple between those three numbers, 20, 24, and 30, is 120.